So, um, good afternoon. I um, thank you very much, Pamun. And I think uh, my presentation, again, is going to be similar to what Pamod has just um, came from talking. And this has, uh, we took the same approach in the Gambia, similar to um, the, his approach that he's talking about. We are not looking for people to train the ministry. We are looking for people to build the capacity of the ministry so, can, so that we can carry on this issue on our, on our own and don't have to rely too much on external expertise or support. And whenever the fund runs out, it becomes a problem to sustain. So um, this is also connected to the, my earlier presentation um, that I did on the EMI shift that we are currently going on. So it also, in, um, we talked about some of the supporting structures that we need. We talked about the institutional structures, that is the law that we need, and those are things that we can fix you know, by going to talk to some parliamentarians and have them fix that. We have some kind of soft, uh, the technical capacity, which we can, um, with the help of his uh, Western Central Africa and with UIO, we have a SOFIA platform. We can look for um, if, uh, connections in terms of uh, the VPN, for example, and we can have internet facilities at the school. But one of the biggest challenges and one of the reasons why most implementations fail is the capacity bit building of capacities, because all of this, it needs to be maintained by humans, needs to be maintained by people. And like I said again with the education managers, you know, the capacity is required at all levels, at all levels. And coming from a system that is highly centralized, we need as a country to build a system that, is, um, that capacitates the, um, the, the people as we go so that they can manage the systems at all levels. Imagine having to drop the emis from all the way from the national level to the school level and without accompanying it with the additional um, kind of support that we need. So that is why um, we have this capacity building program that we have designed specifically targeting education management information systems um, in the University of the Gambia, similar to what you know, Pamud has shared, Sri Lanka, Mozambique, Malawi, Tanzania, and many other countries that are having this kind of um, capacity building programs. And we have a lot to learn from them. So this all came from the recognition of the general lack of you know, capacity building programs in the whole of Africa, not only in the Gambia. It's not in many universities that you will go and you will see an education management information systems course. And because of that, we don't, we as a Gambian that is trying to pioneer the EMI shift, we won't have any university to you know, rely on to train our staffs, to train our people. So that is why we decided to bring this at home and make the Gambia as a hub for education management information system capacity building in the continent and hopefully globally. So this is a discussion that we've started since 2019. And then it somehow got to a close in, in Kampala in 2022, where we were able to lay down all of the, um, the specificities. Then it was later that at the, in this um, past um, academic year that we started the course at the University of the Gambia. So the course is designed to be a nexus that is at the middle of education management and information systems. So all the people that are going through this um, course, this master's program at the University of the Gambia, you are going to be studying in both education data issues, education data management, education policies, education administration, and as well as information systems, handling data, managing data, the data information cycle, so that putting these two together, you can put the domain and the practice together, then you can make impact on um, um, the, the, the systems. Then we are looking to leverage regional and local capacities. For example, one of, one of the reasons why I am on these PHD programs is to maintain and sustain these kind of systems. And it's not only me as a Gambian, but all the regional um, uh, PhD um, candidates that we have, they are all look, we are all looking through um, leveraging their capacity, their expertise to support this program in the form of coordinators, in the form of lecturers, in the form of other capacities so that they can um, support this program and sustain it. 
So it is also practice oriented, as it's not only going to be based on theory. And the practice oriented is going to include um, intensive placements by the various ministries, by the various departments where we are working. Because we as a ministry also want to leverage on these people that are studying information management systems to see how we can um, extend our, our, our fingers, extend our limbs into the other various departments. If we have, for example, as the course has already started, we've already received um, um, participants from other sectors and from other directories. Example, the examination councils, even the electoral council have sent participants to this MS program. This serves as a ministry, this serves as an extension for us to work with these people directly and work towards integrating the education management information system with our department as well as their department. So the whole idea of the MS program is to um, not only stop at creating the MS program, but to also use that capacity after the MS program has been done to extend to other kind of programs that we are needing. Because the master's program is right now targeting people at the higher level, at the management level, at the policy level. But we, as a country, we need much more fine-tuned skills that need to go beyond just what is at the master's level. Because all the way at the school, at the school level, you need somebody, like Palmer says, an informatics person. Somebody that can work with data, understand the data, make sure that the schools are able to leverage the power of data within the school. And we cannot be doing that um, above. And with the amount of data that is being generated in the schools, it is important to have somebody that is housed in the school and helping them generate the, the, the intelligence that they get from um, the data. So we are looking to use this capacity to develop a bachelor program under the same circumstances, use the same capacity to develop diploma programs and then use the same capacity to, to develop certificate-based programs that are skill-based programs that can be dis, um, dissipated throughout the education sector program. And all of this is in relation, if you look at the hierarchy on the, on the right, it, looks, it gives you the general education hierarchy, how education data needs are arranged from, you know, from, the, policy, from the highest level, that is the goals, to the education uh, policy level needs, all the way to the school, as little as to the specific level of learning. And learning is something that you cannot expect the minister or the permanent secretary at the ministry to generate analytics and inform the head teacher or the classroom teacher what to do with that data with. And these are some of the things that we are missing. And these are some of the reasons why most of the um, students are not learning, but we are unable to detect that because the data doesn't get to the people that need to, that need to analyze it. And when it, um, the ones that are having it, like the teacher at the school right now, they don't have the capacity to analyze as they should. So the master's has started. Um, in January 2004, so we already have a first batch of classes, and as you can see, it is an engaging um, program that doesn't only rely on lectures, but also rely on more collaborative work and uh, practice-based um, exercises and method of teaching. So in order to explore this beyond just what um, is going on in the Gambia, we had, um, we together with you know, the rest of the participants, at the um, Kampala conference uh, in, 20, in Entebbe conference in uh, 2023. The, um, the African Union um, looked at this um, approach and really f um, fell in love with it and decided to support it, at least uh, give some commitments as well as other partners to look into how can we as a country, as a continent, which is definitely going to be relevant to, you know, uh, Sri Lanka and other Asian countries because we are not very different in context. But we can all leverage this if it is supported, if these commitments are you know, made through, through this um, communique to make sure that um, this MS program doesn't stop in the Gambia, but it is supported, it is strengthened, and then it is spread all across Africa so that education management information system capacity would be something that is in the continent and something that we can you know, leverage as countries to train our, our officers. So um, that was the presentation. So I thank you very much for your attention.